हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज मोनिका भलेराव फ्रॉम अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फाइनेंशियल मार्केट ऑपरेशन सब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम सेकेंड ईयर बी कॉम अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज दैट चैप्टर वन overview and structure of the indian financial system so the overview and the structure of indian financial system in this chapter we are going to learn what are the meaning of indian financial system then what are the functions of the indian financial system and then what are the components of the indian financial system so one by one we will go through all the these topics in this chapter 1 so here is the first financial system definition what is the financial system the system allows the transfer of money between the savers and the borrowers and you can also say that it is a set of complex and closely interconnected financial institution financial markets instruments and the services practices and the transactions what does that mean if you are as a person and if you have saved certain any kinds of savings from your income and that income or the saving if you want to put any kind of investment and want to get get the return from that in this case you require platform and which platform they are giving the opportunity is the financial statement they are allowing you to provide or to invest your savings and give a needy person those require your money so that's why the system allows the transfer of money between the savers and the brow, uh, borrowers so this is the basically definition of the financial statement now we will go to the functions of the financial statement what are the functions of the financial statement it is a mobilization of saving financial system it allows you to mobilize your savings and maintain or the increasing the habit of the saving in your persons that is mobilization of saving it also promotion the investment it helps to payment functions what is a payment functions you can do a payment in that financial system what does that mean that you can do the uh, purchasing of uh, goods and services like a securities like a shares bonds debentures these are all securities you can able to purchase and sells in this financial state uh, system so that's why this is also one of the most important functions of the financial system then it is also helps to develop the economics if if you are having a well developed financial system then your country will have a best economic development and which through you can help to grow your financial um, capital formation then it will also helps to provide you the financial services what are the financial services it can be the uh, leasing hire purchasing depository granting loan these are the some financial services it is a one of the most important functions of the financial system so mobilization of saving promotion investment payment function economic development providing financial services and capital formation these are all the functions of the financial system now we are moving toward the next part that is the structures of the financial statement or you can also say the components of the financial statement the financial system which is basically divided into four parts that is financial institutions financial markets financial instruments and the financial services financial so these are the four most important components of the financial system that is which is divided into the four parts so one by one we will study the all the components of the financial system so first important is that financial institutions what is a financial institutions financial institution which give the platform to buy and sell all your securities shares those which are going to trade in the financial markets and the financial system so that's why for the the most popular example that is banking institutions insurance institutions these are all the nbfcs what is nbfcs nbfcs is that is non banking financial services these are all the financial institution which give you platform to do all the financial trading in the financial statement uh, financial uh, system then these are the intermediaries between the savers and the borrowers so this is the financial institutions banking institutions then you can say the insurance institutions these are all the financial institutions then the next is that financial markets 
the financial markets are those we where you are the link between the borrowers and the savers here you can sell or buy your all goods and services goods and services which means in the financial term you can say there is a all the shares securities and all the bonds debentures you can able to uh, having this kind of all securities you can buy or sell in that particular financial markets basically financial market is divided into two parts that is capital market and money markets so basically if you see the capital market is owned by who that is sebi sebi is that security exchange board of india with all the capital market which is regulated by the sebi and all the money market which is regulated by the rbi that is reserve bank of india so basic all the financial markets which is divided into two parts capital markets and money markets capital market is refers to the long market instrument means what are the securities and shares which are traded under the capital markets those are all for the long term period long term period which means it can be purchased or it can be traded for more than one year and money markets where there are all the instruments those who are uh, Trader for the short term period, which may be you can say for more or less than one year, which is known as the money market. Then capital market having a two parts, that is primary market and secondary market. What is the primary market? Primary market means you can see that is a newly issued shares. All the newly issued securities, newly issued bonds, debentures, whenever they are firstly most important, whenever they are. Uh, traded for the first time in the market which is known as the primary market and the secondary markets means you can see that the already traded or existing shareholders those who are buying and selling their shares these those known as the cap uh, secondary market so financial markets have, which is classified into two parts capital market and money market then capital market which divided into two parts that is primary market and secondary market so sebi is one of the regulatory body for the capital market and rbi is a regulatory body for the money market so this is the second component then third one is we are having the financial instrument what are the financial instrument the way you are sharing or you are trading in that financial system we require some kind of instrument for that so instrument is nothing but your bonds shares securities then you can say all any kind of mutual funds in that way you are trading in that instrument which is nothing but financial instrument so you can see the financial system deals in the financial services and claims which are known as the financial instrument so example will be you have known that is a shares then bonds mutual funds then these are all the instrument in which all the financial system financial markets those who are traded and in that way they can get their returns on that particular investment so that's why this is the all the uh, components of the indian financial system so in today's session we have learned what is the meaning of the financial system then what are the functions of the financial system what are the components of the financial system so components has been the four parts that is financial uh, that is markets financial instrument financial services so financial institutions these are the moon im most important parts of the financial instrument uh, system so i think i hope you understood today's session thank you so much